All right, take it on before. Hello, we bit of a people. How are you all doing? I uh, hope you're doing pretty well today. So, some of you might remember this old script that I made, this old screen recording script. And uh, to be frank, it is a pretty decent script, but there were some things that were missing, and I think that right now, what I did with the script, it's like fully feature complete. You can use it as a full-fledged screen recorder now. You do not have to record to different audio tracks, anything like that. It's all being mixed on the fly. You don't have to do anything. It will do it for you. So the script, as I'm describing it, must be pretty advanced. Right? Well, let me open it up in here and um, in freaking uh, uh, nano over here. I'm not using my terminal right now, I cannot be bothered to do that, so uh, so you guys can see everything, I'll be talking about the script right now. Um, so the thing that's uh, different is we're using my H.264's NVENC encoder, so I'm using my GPU to encode the video itself. Um, it should be at stable for the FPS being recorded as we speak right now, so that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, we're using AAC for audio compression, setting the frame rate to 30 FPS, um, setting the bandwidth to 6 megabytes or maybe bytes per second, not really sure about that right now. Tune, that's for zero latency, again that's for audio stuff. G30, setting the frame rate, scaling it to 1080p, so it's a pretty crisp quality as we're recording it right now. Uh, here's the new part that's been added. And that is the filter uh, complex. What this does it for? Uh, let us mix two audio sources into one singular audio source. So you do not have to use a separate editor. You can just use the script that I've made, and you should be able um, to. Let me just open it up in a different text editor. So for example, uh, let me use gedit on this script, and. Um, what you see here, so we are over here with the filter complex thing. Um, this is what makes the mixing. It mixes both the desktop and microphone audio, as you can hear me right now speaking. Uh, this is take number three in this recording session. I screwed it up two times before. I didn't realize that there was no audio from my microphone being picked up, but from my desktop there was. So that's actually pretty good, <laughs> but still, third time's the charm, right? <laughs> So, if I wanted to play this song, if you were following me on Twitch, you may have noticed I've been playing this song quite a lot. Uh, it's a sort of a playlist, but it's actually eight albums that are put together in a single video, five hour long video, but pretty good song. Um, I enjoy listening to this a lot. It's calming. <laughs> Yeah, that should be enough. <laughs> um, don't want to get copy striked or anything. It's pretty good. I enjoyed a lot. So that's what I've been listening to lately. And uh, what else do we have here? Right. So it takes two audio uh, sources, which in my case is my microphone and my desktop's audio, and it's mixing them together on the fly. And in order to give it those <laughs> audio devices. Uh, you have to do a few things. For example, this section right here, if I were to make it shorter, this F pulse thing, um, it's basically telling it, hey, I want you to take a pulse audio um, input with the index of two. What this means is it uses pulse audio to take a as take it in as a source from the second audio card in that list. So uh, if I were, I'm going to bring up this terminal. I don't really care as much. Um, actually, I do have uh, the command listed in here. Uh, so you take this command as before. You pipe it in, and you'll notice that you'll you'll have all these things, right? And we, I want to take the monitor of this audio card since I use this audio card as my desktop audio recording device. Again, I mentioned this in the previous video, but it's important for me to mention it every single time because there will always be someone who doesn't know what it means. So I might, I it's far better for me to go in, explain it this way, show them where they can find the information. 
If you know what your audio card is referred to as, you want to look for the monitor of it. Most systems have two audio cards in them, Separ well, one audio card separated into two to or three different things, uh, one being the output, which is used for your speakers or headphones in my case, and the second one being used for input from your microphone. Uh, I have two different audio cards, so I have to manage it this way then again each and every system is different if you have a generic intel hd sound or, or realtek hd or whatever that is you may want to look for that instead then again this is for my setup specifically so you may want to look around to ask around people uh, you can even contact me if you will using my emails or other social medias if you will if, if you have any questions feel free to reach out i'll try and help you if I don't know, I'll let you know. If I do know, I'll let you know as well with a few possible solutions. Uh, so, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the monitor of the audio card that you're using as the main one. The main one that I'm using for my systems audio is the second one. This is what it's referred to as the CM106 like sound device analog stereo. That's what it's referred to as, at least under. Uh, Pack MD, so that's for Paul's audio. If you didn't know that, right? Um, and then there's uh, F also E default volt 2000. So, what this does is it takes the input from my microphone and I'm essentially increasing its volume input, so I'm making it louder so it can pick up and increase the sound that it's getting. Again, you may want to tinker around with this. I've set it as a default device through power control. If you don't know what that is, uh, if I were to type in power control and run this, um, you'll notice that in, in input devices, I've set my main input device to be Sound Blaster XFI Surround 5.1 Pro, which is my uh, second audio card that I use for this microphone. I use two separate audio cards so, I did it so that I can get rid of static, and that helps with actually making these videos more watchable. Uh, a lot of people were actually quite enjoying the streams with the setup, so I'm really happy with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have two separate audio cards only because of that. Uh, grabbing X11, that's the same. Now, here's the new part, and that's this. So the threads part is the same. We're telling it, hey, use four threads, so all four of my CPU cores, or threads, if you will, in my system, four cores is four threads. Your system may have a different layer, look it up. Essentially, what you want to go by is if I were to run a terminal here, I'm not going to bring up my own terminal. I don't have time for this anyway. If you run HTOP, which is a free utility you can install, uh, look over here based on the numbers, look for the highest number, in my case it's 4, put it in, and a general rule of thumb is use 2 queues per thread, but since my CPU is quite fast, I gave it 16 in total, which is 4 queues per thread or core in my system. So 4 queues per thread works fine in my system, you may want to think around with these numbers. What this does, you allocated a certain amount of your CPU's time and basically speed uh, or utilization, if you will, to record all these, like, all this stuff. Sure, it's hitting my CPU quite hard, but <laughs> hey, it's working and that's what I need. Um, so anyway, that's just to show you that it is possible to do such a thing. And it helps out with keeping everything as smooth as butter. Well, as smooth as for the FPS can be, honestly. And now onto the newly edited part. This is the new part. So this script, this version of the script, doesn't rely on MPV anymore. MPV isn't GPU accelerated. You can make it GPU accelerated. Same goes for FFPi. I don't choose to use that. The only time I use GPU acceleration is with FFmpeg here, so I do not need any more load on that poor old GPU that I have. Actually, I'm on the last and latest, you heard that right, last driver <laughs> uh, that's supported for my GPU, at least as of me recording this right now. I may have a different GPU in, the sys in this workstation sometime in the future. So... What is all of this about? 
basically we're using FF Play, which if you do not have this installed, you can install it. It's a free utility you can install, just like FFmpeg. FF Play is meant for, sorry about that, it's meant for playback, and it utilizes a API called V4L2, which stands for Video for Linux, and it's a API uh, used and um, used by certain uh, Linux slash Unix uh, utilities, for example, FFplay and FFmpeg can utilize this to capture input from an from a video source, so for example, from a webcam, camera, USB microscope, if you will, and you can use this to, or even security cameras, I've seen that as well, <laughs> and you can grab any sort of input and output it to the screen uh, but with a set resolution, and that's what FFplay does. FFplay is a utility you can use to play back. FFmpeg is a utility you can use to record or even convert different video files or audio files even. Uh, if you were following along with some of my other utilities I've wrote, I've made a few scripts that let you convert certain audio files to a certain audio type with pretty much no quality loss, but <laughs> that's not important. Uh, let's go to the next flag here. These are flags that we are setting. No border, pretty much self-explanatory, gets rid of the border. Nothing special really. <laughs> um, Videos, uh, I skipped a bunch. <laughs> AN disables the audio from my webcam. Uh, I have it actually disabled with Venpool's audio, but if your webcam has a microphone built in just like mine does, you may want to disable it and use your main microphone as the source of the audio, because, let's be real here, that microphone is pretty pretty doo-doo compared to this one, so uh, I'll be using this one many times over, likely, than that one, you know, since it sounds much better than any other audio cut I've used, uh, any other microphone that I've used. Uh, SN disables subtitles, again, something that shouldn't be there, but it's just a, like, a little, like, measure just to make sure it doesn't screw up in any way, shape, or form. The next part, and something that is a major improvement, <laughs> It's always on top, always on top is um, basically a flag that lets it stay on top no matter if the video, if it's overlaid by anything. So I can move this window in there and it will not, it will not uh, get overlaid by that window. It will stay on top of any window that I click into or switch my context to, it will stay on top of it. Uh, Video size, self-explanatory. I've set it to 380 by 360. It looks pretty good, at least from what I how, how I see it. And it doesn't have to stay in this position. If you remember to the very beginning of this clip being recorded, I'm not gonna edit it. I stopped editing my videos. It's, you know, I'm not making any money from this at least as of now. So, um, I just, you know, I wanted to make this video real quick and just talk about the script. Uh, I'll be making the same changes to my streaming script that I use for streaming on Twitch and would like to use sometime in the future. Uh, it won't be as feature rich as all the other utilities that I've used in the past. But then again, we can make it so that it is uh, usable as such. But, you know. I would have to figure out a few things and such, and it's just a pain in the butt, a pain in the buttocks, if you will. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the changes to the script. There's nothing else. Um, you can, like, hear all the stuff that uh, is going on in my system. You do not have to sample it. You do not have to align it. You do not have to sync it up. You can just use this script. Uh, if you plan on using this, uh, if I can ask for just a little small thing, if you end up using the script and end up enjoying it, make sure, or you could at least, uh, mention that you're using this script from this guy and possibly even link the script. Uh, if you have some modifications or suggestions, make sure to let me know. I'm open to suggestions. If it's a sensible one, if it doesn't make sense or isn't related to the topic at all, I won't implement it or merge it. But if it makes sense and you give a solid explanation of what it does, uh, then I will consider merging it. As in some of my latest projects, I've been getting quite a few contributions lately. Thanks so much, you guys. It helps out a lot. 
so yeah uh, that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a long like subscribe and share it around with someone who might be interested and i hope to see all of you beautiful people next time